So why is Amazon rolling out updates to block third party launches on their Fire Stick? So this video, we're going to jump into the reason. We're also going to touch base on which updates are being pushed to block custom launches on your Fire Stick. And then we're going to ask this important question. Should you update your Fire Stick? if it's blocking this feature. So we're gonna jump into the details. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so for everyone that owns a Fire Stick, we know that we own it for three basic reasons. One is the price factors. Amazon Fire TV sticks are usually very affordable, uh, no matter which version you have. Two is the fact that it gives you a lot of ability to customize your Fi TV, whether it's custom launchers, whether it's adding third party applications and so on and so forth. And the other one is just portability, flexibility. You can take it on the road with you. You can plug it in anywhere and it should work. So the Fire Stick does have a lot going for it. However, like I said, one of those important reasons is, is the ability to customize your Fire Stick. And this can include installing third party applications and third party launchers to change the look of your interface. So recently, uh, updates are being pushed to certain Fire TV devices to block the ability to install launchers. And we're gonna get into the real reason why Amazon is doing this in a second. So we're gonna read a little bit from the Android police. I'll leave the full link in the description. This one's called Amazon appears to be blocking custom launchers with its latest Fire TV updates. So Amazon Fire TV sticks make for some of the best streaming devices you can get your mitts on. Its user base has skyrocketed over the past years due partly to the flexibility that Fire OS offers as a platform. So aside from the side loading applications, one of the best ways you can make Amazon's streaming stick your own is to use a custom launcher instead of the default Fire TV interface thus removing ads and sponsored content altogether. So unfortunately, it seems like the company is cracking down on these efforts with the recent changes to Fire TV stopping custom launcher installs altogether. So just touch a little bit there, might have guessed the reason why they're doing this is gonna be for the money. So according to a post from Redditor, you fins and spotted by AFTV News, Amazon is rolling out new Fire OS updates to a streaming device that forbid users from using custom launches. So previously installing launchers was made possibly by an app called Launch Manager, but the ability is not broken with these software updates. So here are the software updates we gotta look out for. So Fire OS 7 version 7.2.7.3 with build numbers PS7273, 2622, rolling out the Fire TV Stick Lite, Fire TV Stick 4K Max, third generation Fire TV Stick, and the second generation Fire TV Cube. Fire OS 6, this is version 6.2.87 with build number PS6287-3768, rolling out the Fire TV Stick 4K, third generation Fire TV, and first generation Fire TV Cube. So AFTV News suggests a new Fire OS update with version 5.287 might also bring this change. It's currently rolling out altogether first generation and second generation Fire TV sticks as well as second generation Fire TV gadgets. The real reason why Amazon is doing this is ad revenue. So when you change your custom launcher, you remove those ads that you see on your homepage, you remove those pop-ups and and that's a way that Amazon supplements what revenue they're bringing in. In all honesty, just buying a Fire TV stick, they don't really see a profit from that, guys. They're probably losing money selling these Fire TV devices, but they do make it up in app store sales and, and ad revenue, as we can see there. So the ad and sponsored content on the Fire OS interface are among the primary earning sources for Amazon from its Fire TV business, as the device themselves are usually available at bargain prices. So since custom launches block the revenue stream, it isn't hard to guess why Amazon wants to stop this practice. So thankfully, a walkaround lets you block software updates on your Fire TV device devices if you want to keep using custom launches. But that also means that you can't take advantage of new features those updates bring. So in the comment section, let me know if you're someone who uses custom launches on your Fire Stick. Also, I'm looking into making a follow-up video to show you how to disable automatic updates on the Fire TV Stick. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.